Hey everybody, and welcome to the second part of the video series from, from Display Land, where we started off with a photo scanned model, we went over how to clean it up, and this is basically where we stopped in the previous video. So if you, if you haven't watched the first video, check it out, it's gonna be in the link below, and we're gonna continue on and get this thing ready so we can get it all the way up to Unreal. So, this is what we have here. We have this uh, low poly version exported out and we have the high poly version. Now, what I have a problem at the moment is that if I end isolate on both of them and I move this over to the side, we didn't notice that even though this thing here is properly unwrapped because we did, uh, we know it's properly unwrapped because we did the unwrapping, uh, we want to have all of the information from this object here transfer over to this one. Now, the easiest way to do this is going to be with the help of a free program called XNormal. Now, when you download XNormal, it looks pretty much like a app that was made back into, into the 90s, but it's actually a pretty, pretty uh, powerful piece of software and it's free, so you can get it. Now, once you download XNormals, this is what you're going to get. Now, XNormals has a variety of different options in it, but we're only going to use this so we can bake the information to it or bake the defaults base uh, color information. And now the way it works is really simple. You have a, a bunch of buttons on this side and here it says high definition meshes. And the way to do this is just right click on over here and click on add mesh. Now, since this is going to be the high, def, uh, high definition or the uh, high poly, I'm going to choose my, my high poly model that I exported out, click open. And here is a second field over here where it says base texture to bake. So now we're going to go over here and right click here and click on base texture to bake or and now we want to choose the texture that came with the um, zip file that you downloaded from uh, Splineland, which is this. Now click on it and click open. There we go. Now I'm going to scroll down over here to light, uh, low definition meshes or the low poly meshes. Do the same thing. Right click, add mesh. Choose the statue LP. Click open. And I'm going to scroll down to baking options. Now over here, you just want to press these three little dots and this will allow you to basically set where you want to save this uh, texture that we're going to get. So I'm going to call this statue texture. It can be saved as a JPEG or whatever you want. For now, I'm actually going to keep it as JPEG. Click on save. Uh, we can choose what size we want. 4K is good enough. And here we have different uh, types of maps we can bake out. We can bake the normals in here, height maps, uh, ambient occlusion and everything. But in uh, from here, I just want to get the base texture. So I'm going to just select the base texture. I'm going to change any of the actual settings for this. I'm going to leave it at the default bucket renderer. Anti-aliasing, I can leave it at two. We can increase it if we need to, but for this case, it really won't need it. So I'm just gonna hit on generate maps. Now, depending on how big the texture is, this can be really quick, or it can take a few uh, seconds up to a minute. So I'm just gonna give it a few seconds and I'll be right back. All right, we're back with a bit of an issue. Now, very, very rarely will X a normal have a glitch like this and it will basically get stuck when you press generate maps it's just going to get stuck on analyzing your mesh now again i'm going to say this is a very rare uh, error but when it does happen there is a workaround it's quite simple all you have to do is uh, you go over to your 3ds max and re-export your meshes but instead of using an obj just use an fbx File. So that's what I've done. I've just went out and re-exported uh, the statue HP and the statue LP as an FBX. So by doing that, now I'm just going to go over, uh, remove this me mesh from the, the OBJ, remove the OBJ, add mesh, statue HP. Again, the same thing with the, uh, just choose the texture to bake, 
the original low definition same thing remove add the fbx there we go i'm not going to change anything else so i haven't changed anything else just hit generate map and there we go right away this fixed the issues now it's one of those things that it usually doesn't happen but now if it does happen to you you know how to fix it and it's a pretty simple workaround and as soon as this thing is finished we're gonna get this baked down and we can use it for our uh, model now the great thing about this is that uh, this is only using the fbx to help me bake this so i can use this same exact texture to apply it on the obj model as well so i'm going to close this open it up over here so let's see texture base there we go so now we have the texture for our obj or our fbx i'm going to close up x normal there we go you only needed the base texture from there and now i want to bake the rest of the texture uh, the rest of the textures that i'm going to need to make my material into unreal and for that i'm going to use substance painter so let's open up substance painter then all right so here we are in substance painter i'm going to click on new file here choose the template for the pbr metallic roughness which is what uh, unreal uses i'm going to leave the document resolution 1k for now and select here in file and from here, I'm actually going to choose my uh, statue LP OBJ file. Click on open. There we go. And click OK. All right. There we go. So we have our model in here. Let's just go around it. There we go. So light is uh, OK. Now, what I want to do is click on my texture set settings over here. Put it over to the side. And I want to bake out a few of these maps. Now for this, I'm going to click on Bake Mesh Maps. From here, Output Size, I'm going to keep it up to 4K. Click all on over here. Choose the Texture HP. Open. All right, since we don't have anything else in here, it really doesn't matter because we don't have to match anything. It's just one object. I really don't really need a thickness or an ID map. So I'm not going to change any of the other options. So I'm just going to click on Bake Default uh, Material Mesh Maps. So click here and let's give it a few uh, seconds. It's going to do what it needs to do. And it's going to give us all the textures that we need so we can start working in Unreal. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop here and I'll be back as soon as this thing is finished, which should be very, very soon. Yep, it literally took like extra five seconds. All right, so we have this, but we don't have the actual base color for our uh, model in here. So we need to add that color before we start baking these uh, textures for Unreal. Adding that is gonna be really simple. All we have to do is get over here, add a fill layer over here. And now for the base color, I'm just gonna go and drag in that texture that we created here. So I'm gonna put this thing over to the side so I can see it better. And the textures here on the side, I'm just gonna take the texture that we baked out, this one, drag it in here. It's gonna ask me, how do I want to do it? All right, import undefined, just use it as a texture. Okay. Texture one, texture, import two, current session, import. There we go. So we have this over here. So I'm going to click and drag it into the base color. There we go. Just like that, we get the texture back applied to this. Now, I'm not going to do any of the fixing up for this texture. I'm going to take it as it is. And what I want to do before I actually export this thing out, I want to take the ambient occlusion and put it into my roughness map. This is going to do, oh, let's just test it out like this, or the curvature. I'll just write ambient. There we go, ambient occlusion. 
drag it into the curve uh, to the roughness map there we go and that's going to get rid of all that uh, information that we had here with the reflection because this is stone it's not the most correct way of doing it but in this case it's going to work because it's stone and stone is not really that reflective so now we have all of this i'm actually going to close this thing so it's back over here and now i want to export what i'm seeing in here so i can use all of these textures into unreal so click on file export textures now choose the configuration for scroll down down to unreal engine 4 packed we don't have any subsurface scattering so i'm just going to use the original one here uh, make it so it's a 4k resolution and let's click and choose where we want to uh, save this i'm going to create a folder in here textures call it textures there we go all right select folder and this shows me that this is going to bake out a base color occlusion roughness metallic normal and an emissive map all right that's great just hit export and as soon as this thing is finished i'm going to have four textures that are going to be 4k all made for that uh, model that we just created and we can take all of the, all of them and import this thing into unreal so let's give it a few seconds and there we go all done all right so let's fire up unreal and see how this thing will look inside over there all right so here we are in unreal i'm going to use the same scene that i used a couple of videos ago because this is a already pre-set up scene it's an interior which in this case is going to be a bit weird since i'm guessing that the model that we chose to make is more accustomed to be used in a garden or somewhere outside but it will do, this scene will do so this is what we have so far we have the uh, obj file and we have the uh, FBX file. The, since we had the issue with the X normal didn't want to basically bake it out right, we do have a FBX file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that uh, statue LP FBX and I'm going to import it over here. Now once I have the import, it's going to give me what do I want to do? Auto generate collision. All, all right, import textures. I'm actually going to take this thing off for now convert scene it's fine and everything else i'm just going to leave it as it is so import and that thing will be over here there we go but we got the material nonetheless all right so next thing we want to do is we want to import the textures that we got out of uh, substance painter so i'm going to take those drag them in so it's just three textures although they are a 4k texture resolution so they might need a few seconds there we go so we got those three in here and now i'm going to drag and click and drag this statue in here there we go so right away you can see that we got the statue in i'm going to try and see if this is, thing is going to fit in here all right interestingly it does all right turn off the snap there we go something like this awesome this thing looks like it was made for the statue all right so let's check out see what kind of a material you have to it actually you know what i'm going to, going to uh, create a new material for this call it statue material awesome open it up and now just drag this thing in here this is my original or the base color. I'm going to have my normal. Just drag it into the normal. And I'm going to have this texture. And all of these channels are basically rough, uh, specular or metallic roughness and ambient occlusion. There we go. Now, uh, important thing you want to do is when you're following along this way, just get over here where it says material expression texture uh, base, double click on it and 
tick off the sRGB. There we go. You're going to get an error, but that is because the sampler type is set to color. Just change it down to linear color and you no longer have that error in here. Just compile it or save it up. Save the material. All right, I'm going to close this. Put the material into the slot for this. And just like that, we have this thing in Unreal. So if I take it, put it closer to over here, we can now see that there are no issues to it. And it really does look good even when it's being lit up on one side and shadows on the other, no issues. Even though we have the seam going on the side, it's really not that visible. It's actually not visible at all because the baking was done really, really well. All right, and just like that, with the help of just our phone and about 20 seconds of walking around an object that we see in real life, we can get it to at the point where you basically can uh, be put inside Unreal in your visualization projects or your games with the help of an uh, app that you can download on your phone for free. So having said all of this, now you have a working workflow that will basically allow you to go out in the real world. And with just with the help of your phone and the app from Ubiquity 6, you can capture any item that you would like to have in your visualizations and it's going to be very very easy to do so now again all you got to do is go over to ubiquity6.com or go straight to get display land it is available for for both android and iphone and all you got to do in order to be eligible to register for an account is have a working uh, phone number and if you do all of that Basically, just follow along with all the steps that I did and you can have your model straight into Unreal or Unity, whatever that you're uh, using for your visualizations. So I hope you guys had fun. I know I did while I was making the video and you also managed to learn something new. If you enjoyed the video, then check the, in the description below. I will leave links to where you can get all the resources that we used in this uh, video, where you can get the app and pretty much everything to follow along. If you'd like to support me and the channel, the support links will be below also in the description. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.